I've had a few days off because my house was an absolute mess and I got to that point where I thought I really need to do some in-depth cleaning. So I've been very busy just cleaning, clearing out old clothes, sorting out. I've not quite finished but I have had a good couple of days at it. So I thought I'd join you again today. So today is Wednesday so it's nearly my birthday. I don't know if that's why it sort of encouraged me to clear some clothes out and stuff. You know, you get to the point you think, oh, I don't want to wear that anymore. And yeah, so yeah, it's my birthday at the weekend. Woohoo! So it's Wednesday today. Let's have a quick calendar of the day. Are we ready? Dun, 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 dun. So today, a small circle of friends. Oh, how cute is that? So you only need a couple of little friends in life sometimes or a big circle of friends, but it's nice to know you're not alone. How cute is that? That's lovely. So that's today's calendar. I've just done my makeup. So I've used some of this serum foundation, but I've mixed it with a little bit of true colour as well. So you get the coverage of the true colour. You get the protection of the serum one as well. And they work really nice together. Then I've got my magic ingredients which everybody's absolutely raving about it's just wonderful it's just magic love it so much got the eye stuff on the new mascara which is what you need when it's hot i've even got avon nail varnish on look Ooh, it's so pretty so my avon shop is down below um and don't forget which is really good you can get samples of all these you can get a sample of the skincare the foundations so you can test them out without spending much they're like 50p a sample i think anyway so i'm waffling it's going to be another absolutely beautiful day it's going to be really hot and sunny so let's see what the day will bring mm, we live in a house where people don't care about the cost of electric it really annoys me I keep telling them all to turn the lights off because it costs money and nobody listens. So when we get a big electric bill, it's not my fault. And that's me just moaning. But anybody else like that, you feel like you're losing a, a fighting a losing battle. So I'm trying to be careful and switch everything off and everybody else just leaves everything on. When your dog does yoga. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Everybody's missed you. Are you alright? Yeah, you look like you've grown a bit, don't you, in the last few days? You look a bit bigger and a bit fluffier. Are you okay? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my breakfast. So, for breakfast this morning, I've got a bran plate and chopped banana and skimmed milk and a cup of tea in my mug of the day. And of course, my little friends with me. Ta da! Are you okay, Winifred? Oh. Fred. Hello, are you feeling better? Yeah? Oh dear, are you tired? Uh, uh. Oh dear, is it a hard morning? <laughs> right, boring job! How exciting is it that the excitement of the day is testing out some new washing up liquid? So I always have fairy washing up liquid. Um, but my husband always swears by this elbow grease, that disinfectant, and I saw they did washing up liquid. So, we'll see how good it is. Interesting. Not, not many bubbles yet, but we'll see how it goes. <sighs> Sometimes in life I do wonder. <laughs> I just walked through the hall and I thought, what's that out the corner of my eye? The corner of my eye was you, little Winifred. You're not allowed to sit there. You've got loads of beds, you do not sit on stairs. You will end up tripping me over and I'll fall down the stairs and no one will find me. And you wouldn't want that, would you? Hey. Right, I need to show you my fancy bed. So this is all my bed linen that I got from Dun & Mill the other day. Ooh, it's so lovely. So I was very inspired by the show house. Um, came home and got me really thinking. So I've had a good tidy round, got rid of some stuff. Um, yeah, it's really cosy. But obviously, white pillowcases are a, a no-go, really, when you wear makeup. Because even though I take all my makeup off at night, you still end up with something on your pillow. So what I do, these ones are kind of just for show. And then I've got some cheaper white pillowcases that I've got on two pillows that we actually sleep on. And I keep them in my shower room. So at night, I just swap the pillows over. So it's a bit of a faff, but I think it looks so pretty. Not that anybody sees it, apart from you lot. <laughs> but I like to know it's there. It's really lovely. And also I swapped uh, the innards of these. So these had uh, 
Apollo fab, whatever it's called, inners in them. And they didn't sit very nice. So I swapped them for feather innards out of one of my old cushions. And now you can like karate chop them and shape them and stuff. And they're loads nicer. So that is a little trick. If you're looking to swap your cushions, you can buy quite cheap cushions with fibre pillows in them. And then just put feather ones in them. Then they make them sit really, really nice. Anyway, here I am. So I'm a bit scruffy. I've got my scruffy clothes on that I had on yesterday um, because I'm going to go and colour my hair. So I've been debating, I've been struggling to make my mind up and I've got like an auburn one I want to try, but it is a darker one. Um, so I thought, because mm, it's my birthday, I don't want to go to my birthday with like grey hairs and stuff. I probably could get away with it for another week if it wasn't my birthday, but I did want a bit of a change. So I'm going to go and colour my hair. So... I'll see you in a little while. And then we might go out this afternoon. See you in a bit. I'm back. Don't you wish it was that easy to just go, I'm going, come back and it's all done. <laughs> so it's now nearly dinner time. So it's took me all morning. I've obviously had to like wash it all, redo my makeup, get changed, uh, clean the bathroom because made a bit of a mess. Uh, sort it all out. But anyway, I'm back. And now we're off to the dustbin to put the rubbish in the bin. Off we go. So it has darkened it down, but I'm pleased with the colour. It's got a really, really nice shine to it and it just feels loads better. I liked the red, but it was just a little bit too red, whereas this has got a bit more warmth and I really like it. Ooh, and let me tell you about this. So I was reading, uh, what was it called? The Devil Wears Prada. Got halfway through and thought, not really enjoying this. Sorted out the books that I'd got from the library and I was going to take this one back without reading it. And then I just started to read the first couple of bits and I was captivated. Couldn't put it down, read it very, very quickly, which sometimes that's not like me. Sometimes it takes me ages to read one because I only read little bits at night. But it absolutely blew my mind. But it does have a bit of an abrupt ending. Uh, I don't want to spoil it in case anybody else would like to read it, but the ending was a bit ugh. But it is absolutely amazing. I couldn't put it down. So I definitely, definitely recommend it. But just be warned about the ending. But I loved it so much. And it's one of those books that when it's finished, you miss it and you still keep thinking about it. And you almost feel like you want to read another one of them. It was so good. So if you're looking for a good book to read, I can definitely recommend this. Ooh, I've just checked. And she's got another book out. And weirdly, this is so weird. The book has just said about the doll factory was released, I think, in 2019. The one that she's just released came out at the beginning of June. Oh, this year, which is just so spooky. So it's more or less when I first started reading her other book, her new book came out. How spooky is that? Anyway, so I'm going to try and get it because I really want to read it. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I wanted to have a scrambled egg for my dinner and I've only got one egg left. So I've got to nip to the shop to get some eggs and my neighbour's paper. Let's go. Made it back home again. Got me eggs, scrambled them. So for dinner I've got scrambled eggs little tomatoes and a blob of tomato ketchup. So off to enjoy it. My dinner was delicious. So we have to make the most of the sunshine. She keeps barking, she's really annoying me. She's found her voice. And she's decided to let everybody know about it. Back inside. So I've got to go and return a parcel. Um, I can't really bother to go. I'd rather just sit in my garden for a bit. But actually, I need to return the parcel, so we're going to have to nip out. So we'll go there, and then we'll perhaps go to one charity shop or some for a rummage on the way back. So, lipstick of the day today is, obviously, one of my favourites, Avon Lisa Armstrong lipstick in colour Clary. And then I've got the Avon Mark Plumper over the top in colour Nude. And it's just the most beautiful combination. The colour is so nice. It would suit anybody. You can still get these from Avon at the minute. But when they're gone, they're gone. So I can't say how long till they're all gone. But they're amazing. They've even got magnetic lids. I love them so much. So good. And this is just amazing as well. Just put it on and it like just plumps your lips a little bit. It's so, so good. Anyway, so it's now 10 to 1. We need to get uh, things organised and get going. Winifred. The strangest dog in the world. You cannot sit there. Last time you sat there, you got knocked over because 
Your dad walked in the door, not you, didn't he? You really can't sit there, my darling. Right, anyway, so we need to get going. So I've got little shorts on, pink little bag, off the shoulder top, and my Avon necklace. Right, that's my parcels done and my little return done. So now let's go for a very hot rummage. was rubbish so let's hope the next one will be better so i've driven to another one on the way back home let's hope this one's exactly
in the car it's quarter three note to self don't ever try clothes on when it's about 27 degrees <laughs> i'm so hot i can't believe i tried all those clothes on the change room i was melting but anyway i got myself a few little bits so we'll get home have a look what i bought get ourselves a nice drink and maybe sit in the sun for five minutes let's go i've made it home so my three little friends oh i love them all so so much oh they're all so different but they're all so special. I love you all so much. Yes, I love you. Right, so I'm just starting to rustle up to here. I'm hoping to get us out outside for 10 minutes, but I need to do this first. So it's literally mince, mushrooms, one egg, salt and pepper. Um, and where's my special ingredients? This. Really, really nice. And throw some of that in it as well. Uh, mix it all together in a pan and then make it into burger shapes. And then I cook it for about seven minutes each side. So I'm just going to make them into burger shapes and then I can go and enjoy my coffee. <sighs> right, five minutes piece, cup of coffee and some cherries to nibble on. Right, I'm literally melting. I've got five minutes, so I've got to go on the bus to go on, and I'm so hot. Don't wear fake leather trousers, fake leather shorts on a day like this and sit in the sun. They felt like they were gonna explode. They were so hot when the sun got on them. Anyway, so what did I buy? I bought this, but I only bought it, it was in the sale section. I only bought it for the sparkly bits. It's like a long dress. Um, but I bought it for all this trim. This trim shines like you wouldn't believe and I can unpick it and I thought I'd put it on one of my dog's coats or one of my coats or something. Just wonderful. It's good to have things like that in your house that you can adjust and put on other things. I got a couple of little pretty vest top things. They're slightly a bit big, but I thought if I put a stitch in the shoulders, it will pull them up so they're not so um, low. And they're in like £2.50, they're really cute. So I've got a pinky coloured one and then I also got a little black one. Again, they're only from like New Law, but they're just so nice. I got these. So these are sequin trousers from Next. I couldn't work out if they were slightly a bit tight or not because I was so hot that so everything was sticking to me. And I just thought you can get your money back there anyway. So I thought I'd take them home and try them. Look, you know, for like Christmas time, because they're just plain at the back and then there's sequins at the front. I just thought they'd be so amazing. They're so sparkly. I just love sparkly things. I've got this gorgeous white see through -y blouse thing, which I think is great as like a cover up when it's hot. It says pink, I can't really see what it says, pink. Oh, pink wine in the sunshine. Um, so again, it's from New Look. So it's like a long blouse thing, but I thought you can wear it with your shorts. You've got a vest tight, you sort of chuck it over the top. I got this cute little belt, which it's got the most amazing butterfly on it, but it's my mum's birthday in July, so I'm gonna do something with it. Whether I take the butterfly off, cause the belt's not that good, but the butterfly's amazing, and put it on like a cake or something for her, or I don't know, but we always believe that butterflies are lucky when she had cancer and stuff, so we love butterflies. I've got this for Ruby, which is super cool, but if she doesn't like it, I can take it back. It's an Ivy Park hoodie. Um, and then I got this black jumpsuit, which is from Motel. It's a bit 80s retro -y. It was slightly a bit more fitted than I would like. Not sure if I loved it or not, but I thought I'll take it home and try it. I can always take it back if I don't like it. It's got pockets as well. I absolutely loved the red dress that I tried on. I thought, oh, it was just so smart and so classy. 
but I've just cleared out so many dresses. I don't really wear dresses that much unless I go out somewhere posh. And I thought, I'm not going anywhere posh. So I resisted the red dress, which was really sad because it was so lovely. Anyway, so that was everything I bought. Real life. Look, my little friend's sat with me. <laughs> right, off we go again. So I've got to fetch Ruby off the bus. Be interesting to see if anybody notices my hair because I haven't told any of them that I've coloured it. So whether my husband will notice, I think Ruby might, but we'll see about the others. <sighs> and just like that, we're home again. So it's now quarter past four. Need to start tea very soon. <sighs> right, that, ladies and gentlemen. Here's my tea. So for tea tonight, I've got my little fake burgers, lots of salad, some low fat mayonnaise, and one little wholemeal roll underneath. So off to enjoy it. <sighs> right, final coffee of the day. So it is. I'm going to love you and leave you. My tea was delicious. Honestly, those homemade burgers are so tasty and so nice. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Don't forget my dogs have got their own Instagram, which is Three Fluffles. My website is down below. And my little Avon shop is also down below. So if you want to treat yourself to a little bit of Avon, obviously these necklaces will be in july's book or online in july then you can get the new lip balms and there's all sorts of lovely stuff coming out and obviously don't forget your serum and your samples it's all down below so i love you and leave you i'll see you tomorrow everybody bye